Hi, it's Tenzin, and today I'm going to be doing another video on OpenMRS, which is a tool for medical record systems. So, this is going to be um, an easy instructional video on using the OpenMRS help desk and the basics of it. And um, the OpenMRS help desk is supported by volunteers in the OpenMRS community. So I'm going to be showing you how to get help with OpenMRS and also I'm going to be showing you the infrastructure status site and what's that, what that is used for. And then last but not least, I'll be showing you how to create a help desk case. So let's begin. So first go into your browser and either search in OpenMRS help desk or just follow the um, link in my description below. So the goal of the help desk is to help troubleshoot problems within the community, infrastructure, and to help um, volunteers and newcomers. So this is the community help desk site. And as you can see, there's um, many different parts to it. But the first things that you'll see is the search box and the search button in which you can just search up a question that might have already been answered. And then another thing you can do is browse by topic. So let's say that I had troubles with my OpenMRS ID. As you can see, there's a topic for that, and I can just press view all. And oh, look at that. Let's say I needed to reset my OpenMRS password. And I can just click on that case. And as you can see, um, the solution to this issue is um, written here. So you can just go through the topics like that. Another thing that we are going to take a look at is the infrastructure status site. So the infrastructure status site is basically um, a site where it monitors and shows all the performance issues, if any, of the openmrs.org um, site. So let's just go ahead and press that. So as you can see, it updates very frequently and you can scroll through and look at which um, parts of openmrs.org isn't or is operational and you currently everything is working just fine and there are no performance issues which is a good thing so you can just look through that and then let's go back Oh, and I forgot to mention that if you need help with openmrs installation there's actually a topic on that so Anytime you have an issue, browse by topic. And if you can't find anything or any old cases on your issue, then go ahead and search it up. So let's say I have an issue on accessing wiki. I can't find it by browse by topic section, so I'm just going ahead and searching it, access to wiki, into the search box. And as you can see, I found five results. And as I look through them, there's no old cases about um, access to wiki and all of those are irrelevant to my issue so in the case where you cannot find your issue browse by topic or the search section then you'll have to go over to create a new case when you create a new case you'll have to type in your name your email address subject and a description since there was no previous cases on my um, on wiki access I'm just going to create a new case to um, send over to the open MRS help desk volunteers and hopefully we can get that fixed so in my district description I provided them with my open MRS ID and said that I recently created a new open MRS ID but I need access to wiki so make sure that you are specific and that you also include your open MRS ID so once you're done with that, you will be going over to the impact on your work section in which it's basically like how urgent is this issue. So you, you'll be given the choices critical, high, medium, or just routine. And for my issue, um, it should be a routine case. You do not want to go higher than medium or high unless it is absolutely a big issue Another thing that you can do on the help desk is you can go ahead and as you can see there's a login with your open MRS ID button on the top right corner and if I press that and log in it actually shows me and as you can see there's a my cases button so I can go over to my cases and it actually shows me all of the cases that I've previously already 
requested help for. So that's all for my video. Thank you for watching.